was y'all's mindset when they cut it to 10 in the fourth quarter? And and what did you guys need to kind of to clean up to make sure you get the win? Yeah, deja vu. We've been there before. Um, up early, late in the game. We just wanted to finish. You know, I feel like I've seen a million situations where we've uh, given up that lead. So I feel like it was just a sense of urg urgency for us to uh, play smart, maintain the lead. Uh, some very big shots by Trey down the stretch to kind of keep that gap. And um, defensively, we try try to close it out. Lloyd, um, even before the game mentioned, you know, obviously Bradley Beal's putting up crazy numbers. Y'all would have to limit him to get the win. Um, what was kind of the mindset going in trying to limit him? And how were you guys able to execute that as best as you could? Yeah, we understand their team dynamic. Um, weird situation with them. So, you know, a lot of a lot of action goes through those two main guys. And um, we knew defensively uh, we put a stop or tried to stop them, you know, make every shot for them as tough as possible. Uh, the rest of the team would have a tough time trying to follow along. And I feel like we accomplished that as, uh, as best as we could. Thank you. Kevin Chenard. Hey, John, you, you were there to see their first season. Uh, and this overlaps Sarah's question a little bit. But what do you what do you see when you see Cam and DeAndre doing what they were doing defensively on players like Russell Westbrook and, and Bradley Beal? Yeah, I'll continue to say it. Uh, you know, forever probably that that first to second year jump is tremendous um, for them. You've seen the growth in in pretty much all areas of their game. Um, and as I said, it's it's that for them it's more mental than physically. I mean, physically they're gifted. You know, can do pretty much everything on the court. Um, it's all about taking those next steps mentally, slowing the game down, and um, for them picking their spots and where they want to do what they want to do. Um, so um, you're going to continue to see great growth from them. And if I if I could follow that up, you know, you mentioned a first to second year leap, but you're making a third to fourth year leap uh, defensively because it's noticeable. Like you're 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 different as a defensive player this year, aren't you? Yes. No. Um, I'm going to continue to put that narrative out there as well. That you know, um, I, I want to be able to defend all five spots. I, I want coach to be able to leave me out there, or I, I don't want there to be a situation in the game that I can't be a part of defensively or offensively. Um, and you know, for me. Defense was a, a big step that I wanted to take this year and continue to make. And uh, I'm just going to continue to play my butt off on that end and, and make an impact. Sarah. This is a little bit of a, a bigger picture question for you, but as a guy who was there last year and now is here this season, um, where is this team as far as defensive improvement um, this season, you think? Yeah, I definitely think we've taken a big step, you know, um, down low, uh, big fella having a real five, um, his activity and rebounding has been great, which is sort of giving us an anchor to anchor that defensive, um, you know, to anchor our defense, excuse me, myself taking the next step, uh, Dre Hunter and Cam um, also taking the next step really makes our defense, you know, uh, very solid in a lot of areas, very switchable. We have a lot of length, um, strength, and our ability to protect the rim is, been vital for us defensively. So um, I feel like, you know, everything is culminating for us to, to be a, a much better team defensively. And uh, I feel like we want to play defense and uh, all of those things are going to help us. 